with the weather. Thank you, Victoria. Yes, it has been quite warm once again. We've also had some pretty heavy downpours. Reports of flooding in parts of Devon from some fairly torrential rain. The shower risk does continue for tonight for further thunderstorms. Still a risk of localised flooding. Met Office warnings, of course, been with us all week. Here are the threatening clouds close to Bewd earlier on today. Also some very interesting clouds uh, by Torquay. Also had reports of a funnel cloud for Dartmoor that can be quite common to spot with these extreme storms. For the Grand Western Canal, slightly uh, calmer conditions at least with just the clouds in the distance. A bit of more of a breeze starting to pick up. We can see that here. It is still feeling quite humid. We are still with the same air mass, but with a bit more of a breeze, it's generally gonna feel a little bit less hot. But as the breeze starts to pick up by the end of Friday, and I think we're going to start to see gradually some cooler nights coming in, but not quite yet. So as I said, there is still a shower risk with us through tonight, and that continues for tomorrow as well. Becoming more isolated, as I said, less hot, but still humid, mostly cloudy to start the day as well. So you can see the cloud that's developed on the satellite picture. That's been the heavy showers that we have had with us throughout the day. Sort of very unsettled picture with this low pressure nearby. So that's why we continue with the risk of these heavy thundery showers as we go through Friday. As we move through Friday uh, into Saturday, we are starting to see an area of high pressure starting to build in. So some dry weather further to the west, but still the chance of further showers to the east. And then on Sunday, we've got this area of low pressure developing and that will produce some further torrential downpours by the end of Sunday. So we have got then a lot of lightning. You can see this on the radar picture, a lot of intense downpours across southern parts of England and that does continue uh, through tonight for particularly eastern parts of the region further to the west it does look a little bit drier though some mist may form overnight as well and it's still going to be quite mild through tonight to temperatures between 16 and 18 degrees for tomorrow morning then I think generally quite cloudy with some mist around again we're looking at some showers developing I think probably more isolated tomorrow but still locally could produce some heavy downpours still the risk of some thunder with some of these showers Hours. Still warm but not as hot, highs of 23 degrees. The hours of silly, then a cloudy start, but a drier day, and I think the best chance of any sunshine uh, will probably be here tomorrow. High tides tomorrow, 0120 and 1415 are the high waters at Plymouth. Still fairly small with the surf tomorrow, uh, just perhaps picking up towards the north coast later on and out at sea visibility could still be quite poor at times with thundery showers and fog patches. Those winds, as I said, picking up to a west southwesterly at a force at two to four. Saturday, as I said, some drier weather out to the east, but still the threat of further showers uh, to the east. So we have still got some uh, Met Office warnings in force. Sunday still very unsettled, still some thundery downpours and similar into Monday.